Hey guys, welcome to this training module. Manu Vinci here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract any content from any website whereby there are no inventory management tools and you need to know if a product is out of stock to update it to update it in bulk into Seller Central. So in this case, we are having some issues with um, uh, Look Fantastic. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, how you can uh, um, check if products are in or out of stock. So I'm just going to do a, a quick scrape of 10 products and I'm going to put it onto um, I put a spreadsheet in here called Mano Test. So um, I'm going to open that up because I will need the URL. So the application that you can use to scrape website is called Web Content Extractor. So if you go on Google and you search for Web Content Extractor Download, you will, you will need to click under the one that says newsprof.com. So you click on that link and it will take you here. And once you are in this screen, you click on the download button and download the application. Now, uh, web content extractor uh, costs uh, $49, which is a one off purchase. So you will pay, you will need to pay $49, but you will have it forever. Now, um, I've already got it downloaded and I'm going to go ahead with the scrape of these 10 products look fantastic. And I'm doing just 10 products as a demonstration, but you can see in here we got over 14,000 and we are scraping uh, uh, all those products um, a few times a day to make sure that our ins and out of stocks are correct. So, once you are in web, uh, web content extractor, you have to click under new project. And it will ask you for URLs. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my URLs, copy them, and I'm going to paste them here. Then I'm going to click Next and Next again. When you get to this screen, you need to click on Define, and it will take you into Look Fantastic now. And I'm going to click OK here. Sorry, Define, Look Fantastic. Why is it not bringing me? Oh, yeah, I'm going to click on the plus button. So once I click on the plus button, you can see that uh, this particular, the first product is actually out of stock. Um, it takes us years. You can see that it's bringing up the full details of the particular product uh, is the first URL. It's usually, it usually takes you from the first URL onwards. So as you can see here, we downloaded 10 of them. And this one, the Alpha Part Womo Energetic is the first uh, URL that is bringing up on WCE. So once you're in here, uh, you need to start defining what you want WCE um, or Web Content Extractor to identify on the site. So you're going to click on the title and we're going to call it title. That is text. So I'm going to click OK on that. And then we want to be uh, extracting the, uh, the price, so the cost. And these are all uh, details that we will need to upload our Seller Central and our inform.co, the repricer. On the cost, I wanted to just grab the, the numbers without the pound sign. So what you're going to do is highlight just the number and click on this little um, generate script button. Click there and this is what it will bring. So I'm going to click OK on that. Then the next thing we want to know if, is if the product is in and out of stock. So when it's in stock, uh, look fantastic, it does says in stock. If it is sold out, it says sold out. So the third field I'm going to grab is stock level, right? And in this case, it's just text and um, has got no signs. All right, so if we are trying to add like the add to cart button, then you would have to, to change this into extract HTML. But in this case, it's just text and I'm going to leave it as it is. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click OK again. All right, so uh, we are ready to go. So the three informations that I need are the title, the cost and the stock level. So I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to click Next. And I want this to go into um, lookfantastic.com on my desktop and I'm going to click finish. So what uh, the W 
FTE is going to be doing now, the web content extractor, is going to start, uh, as soon as I click this play button, it's going to start scraping each one of those URLs, giving me the data that I've asked him to get. So we can see that the first three are out of stock. Out of stock again. So you can see scanning uh, the information that I've told him to do. This one is actually in stock. So you will see on the results in a moment how you can easily identify easy in and out of stocks. All right, one more to go and it's finished. All right. Click OK on that. Now I want to export the spreadsheet as Excel or CSV and I'm going to click Next. I don't need the ID so I'm going to click on this little red cross and delete that and I'll have only title, cost and stock levels on the spreadsheet that I will download. Uh, I'm going to call it Look Fantastic. Actually you can just click there. And it's already there, look fantastic, replace that, Finish. all right, and there you go, so now I've scraped these products, I can just uh, copy them, go back into my main sheet here, I'm going to leave a column blank and paste the results there, then I'm going to click on Control H to find a replace, and I want to find all sold out and replace them all with zero. I want to just use this sheet and I'm going to replace them all. For some reason it's not doing it, just play with me one moment, sold out, replace with zero, replace all. Alright, let's try that again. Find, sold, to make sure that it's just in this sheet, sold out and replace with zero. There you go. And then we're gonna do the same thing for Control H for the in stock, just for this sheet. And I wanna replace them all with, let's say that we wanna put a quantity of three. And that's done. So now you've got here, all the information that you need to upload the ins and out of stocks into your seller central by going into your feed file you will need your SKUs, your ASINs so I would have to grab all the SKUs and the ASINs copy that and I would have to paste them here as text all right then the next thing that I would need is prototype is one because uh, we got the ASINs in there, so it's one everywhere. For the price, you can uh, either add the 15%, so you could add the column here um, where you do a little formula where you do equal H times. 1.3 so I give you a minimum of 15 percent uh, a minimum of 15 percent profit so you can copy all these costs to put on the spreadsheet here or you can just whack the price hope or put them everything I don't know. The best way I think is just uh, creating a mini formula like this so that you are putting a 15% because after that you would have to upload all the costs into a Peagle or Inform where you put all your SKUs, all your costs, the right costs, which are these ones, and Informed would take care of repricing them with the strategy that you've got on Informed. So that's what you would do. But Basically, this video was just to show you how you can use Web Content Extractor to easily identify what is in and out of stock. Then you do a bulk upload into Amazon and a bulk upload into Inform.co to determine uh, stock availability and the correct pricing.
I hope the I hope this video helps. If you've got any question, just hit me up. All right. Thank you very much.